Victor lives on cheeseburgers and cheeseburgers alone. I love burgers. He eats four burgers a day, 28 each week, which is nearly 1,500 burgers every single year. This dude really eats 1,500 burgers a year? This man's arteries have got to be more backed up than LA traffic at 5 p.m. on a Friday. This dude's heart has to work overtime. It's probably sitting there like, man, can you please eat something other than McDonald's? I don't even understand how something tastes good after eating it that much. I remember one time I got force-fed grapes for 47 hours by this girl who kidnapped me, and by the end, I never wanted to see anything purple again. Thanks, Janice. I used to love grapes. Realistically, though, you guys know that this dude has a giant problem. He's treating these cheeseburgers like teenage kids treat jewels nowadays. He goes to the bathroom at work, or should I say the jewel room, just to toke up on some burgers. The truth. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. I do want all of you guys to be on the lookout. Apparently the real life Hamburglar is out and about. Yeah, that's right. He went from just nabbing hamburgers every now and then from Ronald McDonald to climbing inside people's windows late at night and watching them sleep while eating a cheeseburger over the top of them. I only know he's been doing this because last night I got woken up by the tomato juice dripping off his burger onto my forehead while he was watching me sleep. So uh, you guys want to be on the lookout. Seriously though, I found this guy on My Strange Addiction that does nothing but eat cheeseburgers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which uh, seems like a terrible way to live your life. Like, a cheeseburger a week definitely is tasty, but eating nothing but cheeseburgers 24-7 makes me think that eventually you're gonna be obese enough to just be rolled down the runway at an airport and take off on your own. You don't want to look like a jumbo jet, but apparently this guy's just living life. Regardless, it's just a pretty weird situation I figured we could make fun of, so that's what we're gonna be looking at today, so be sure to press the like button if you think you're gonna enjoy Enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I don't eat salad. I don't eat steak. I stay away from chicken. I don't eat any vegetables or fruit. I love fishing, but there is no way in hell I will eat a fish. This kid sounds like a six-year-old looking at the restaurant at like a fancy Italian place. I love fishing, but there's no way in hell I'm gonna eat a fish. I will take the chicken fingers and french fries, please. Realistically, dude, this stuff stops being cute after you're like seven, all right? If I was out to dinner with a grown man and he was like, ooh, actually, uh, the only thing I'm going to eat is a cheeseburger, I, I would judge him. I don't eat fruit, I don't eat vegetables. Wow, sick dude, man, you're gonna die when you're like 37, way to go. I actually don't brush my teeth either. My dentist says I have gingivitis and I tell him that's the lifestyle choice I make to eat cheeseburgers. Apparently, I also have chlamydia. If anyone has any lotion for that, be sure to let me know. Like dog, TMI, TMI. We don't really care if you're eating fruit or not. The reason why I enjoy cheeseburgers so much is because I know exactly what's going on inside there. It's simple. I like it a lot. But Victor keeps the extent of his burger obsession hidden from his wife of 11 years. How do you hide the fact that you only eat cheeseburgers from your wife? Like, every time your wife cooks dinner, you don't eat it, and she's like, huh, must just not be hungry, you know? He just doesn't eat. I've never seen him actually eat food. I'm pretty sure he lives off photosynthesis. How do you live with somebody and not notice that they're eating basically an entire McDonald's menu every single day? Well, you know, uh, I just figured that he didn't eat, you know? I, I figured he was a lot like a bionicle, and he runs on love. She doesn't notice that the fact that their bank account is constantly empty and an overdraft because he keeps charging their credit card all the way out at Burger King? Burger King, have it your way. As long as that way is crippling debt in order to eat more cheeseburgers. Like, I'm sorry, his wife better be blind. That's the only explanation for any of this. His wife better be less visible than Helen Keller, because that's the only explanation for how you don't know your husband is munching on 18 cheeseburgers a day. Oh, he eats those cheeseburgers? He told me he donated them to Hungry Kids. Let me get a uh, cheeseburger plane. And get rid of the evidence and come in the house and then just kind of pick at what she made. Every time Victor doesn't eat something that I make, I take it very personal. I know it breaks her heart. You're kidding me, right? He breaks his wife's heart every time he eats a cheeseburger? This relationship needs some work, man. She's like, yeah, you know, every time he comes home and doesn't eat my dinner, I sit there crying myself to sleep, wishing that I had a husband who loved me. And he's just like, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's not a cheeseburger, so I, I can't, I can't eat it. That's not how this works. I really just can't believe that this guy has the nerve to do that. Yes, my wife has threatened to leave me multiple times, but you know, Burger King is totally worth it. Karen's gonna take the kids and he'll still be smiling in the Burger King line. It's difficult for me to push healthy eating habits on my children 
if Victor is sitting there with a hamburger. Dad doesn't eat coffee. Why is this little kid literally the smartest person we've seen on the show so far? I mean, honestly, we've got his dad who is addicted to cheeseburgers like nicotine and his wife who apparently just doesn't notice that her husband does nothing but eat cheeseburgers. This little kid is the Stephen Hawking of this family and all he had to say was this. Dad doesn't eat healthy. Excellent observational skills, son. Yes, your dad does go in the back shed at three in the morning and huff cheeseburger smells out of the bags that he just came home with. No, he doesn't have a problem. I promise he can get over it and he time he wants. If your kid is the one pointing out that you might have a crippling cheeseburger addiction, I think that should be enough of a lesson that you should change it. Like if I ever have a son and he goes, you know, dad, uh, I've noticed that you have a huge affliction for drinking Windex. You might want to stop. When he's like six, I, I know I've gone too far. All right. Kids should not be the ones noticing these things, but Windex is pretty tasty. So Victor, what do you think all of this represents? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say all that stuff that just fell out of the back of the truck represents each individual rose that he's given his wife to show his love and affection over the last four years. Uh, just kidding, it's probably the amount of cheeseburgers this man shoves down his gullet on a yearly basis? What type of dumb question is this? Victor, do you have any idea why all these cheeseburgers are falling out of the back of the truck? Uh, are we gonna play dodgeball with them? Like, wh why do people ask dumb questions sometimes? It's like when teachers would, you know, give you an F on a test and be like, do you know what happened? Well, clearly I don't know what happened. I don't know anything that's going on if I failed the test, okay? Um, I do believe that this represents the amount of dignity that I have left because I am very proud of my addiction. Like, what do you want Victor to say to this? Assuming it represents the amount of burgers I eat in a five-year span. Try a one-year span. Wow. 1,460 burger boxes right here. I love how Victor pretends to care. Like she's like, try a one year spin and listen to his wow. Wow. Yeah, lady, I get it. I eat a lot of burgers, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, can you get your 1500 burgers out of here? Actually leave a couple. I might eat them off the ground later. Like this man really does not sound like he cares at all about the numbers that they just threw out there. Victor, did you know that your wife has actually been sleeping with your neighbor? Wow. It was very shocking and a little sickening, really. Victor, is it any big shock that you've got diabetes? Apparently not. Wait, he actually has diabetes? That wasn't just a joke that I made earlier? No, that's it. That's it. I'm wrapping it up. Nope, I'm leaving. Bye. It's been a good run. I'll see you guys next video. Seriously though, I don't think Victor cares at all. Say what you want about the man's burger addiction, but the amount of savagery is almost commendable. Victor, is it any surprise that you have diabetes? Wow, apparently not. Like, what a savage response. He really doesn't care the doctor's out here. Victor, we're here to save your life. We're gonna do everything we can to get you healthy. Uh, I mean, I guess, but can we stop by the drive-thru on the way to the hospital at least? I, I really want at least one more burger to say goodbye. The question is really, when's the blindness gonna set in? When are you gonna have to have something amputated? When's the stroke happening or the heart attack? Victor is in the midst of a major health crisis. Now, uh, call me crazy here, but I don't think I needed a nutrition expert to get up here and tell me that eating 1,500 cheeseburgers a year isn't good for your health. We brought in a nutrition expert that's breaking down that Vincent's health is not great after eating nothing but cheeseburgers. I think anyone with a brain could have come to that conclusion, like they had to bring out the doctor in the lab coat. Yes, Victor, diabetes is not good. Oh, oh my gosh, are you guys serious? I had no idea, man. Uh, I, I had no clue. I would like for you to order a burger with lettuce. <laughs> just straight lettuce? Just straight lettuce. Burger with lettuce. Let me have a cheeseburger with just lettuce. I have never ordered a burger with lettuce, ever. Ordering lettuce on your 1,500 cheeseburgers doesn't make that much of a difference, all right? That's like getting served actual human feces and sprinkling cheese on it. It's still feces. That doesn't change anything. Victor, we're going to make a big change today. We want you to get lettuce on your cheeseburgers. Oh my gosh, uh, everything's different now. My, my diabetes is gone. Uh, my foot's not even going to fall off anymore. Me and my wife are married again. My kids are happy. He, he says I'm eating healthy because I had lettuce once. It made me extremely nervous. So, how are you feeling right now about it? Uh, I can smell the lettuce. It's really grossing me out right uh -huh. now. You can smell the lettuce? What does lettuce even smell like? It's really grossing me out right now. Oh my gosh, you would think they asked this guy to eat a live cockroach. 
Next thing you know, man, you guys are gonna want me to try a carrot. Uh, I I'm really disgusted by the fact that I'm gonna eat something healthy. <laughs> Vincent, lettuce does not have a smell. Lettuce is not disgusting. You know what? It, it is gross, but I'll do it for my family. I guess I can buckle up and <laughs> eat le lettuce. He's acting like lettuce is actually gonna turn him into a zombie or something. You know what? Now that I think about it, I I'm just saying. I have never seen a zombie and lettuce in the same room, so it is possible that those two things are somehow connected. Don't ask questions. Don't question my logic, all right? It's just possible. Imagine being a grown man and being afraid of lettuce. Like, this dude is basically a 45-year-old male, and he's shaking at the idea of trying lettuce. Uh, you know, back in Nam, I, I was fine. I've been through war, but this lettuce thing, it's just too much. I, I don't think I can do it. All I want from you, Victor, is one bite. <sighs> I'm used to picking off one or two pieces of lettuce. This thing was covered. I didn't know if I was going to be able to eat it or not. I'm trying so hard. This guy is actually acting like he's about to storm the beaches of Normandy. Just eat the lettuce. You're a grown man. You know, I was actually surprised I was able to do it. I was looking at this lettuce and just didn't know if the human body was worth it. I feel like Vincent is going to be in a room of people of like a guy who ran into a burning building to save a child. Like another dude who lifted a car off of his dad when it fell on top of him. You know, what you guys did was brave, but I did try lettuce on a cheeseburger once. I know, I know. Hold the applause, gentlemen. I, I understand that what you did was cool, but you've never had lettuce on a cheeseburger before. That's what real bravery is. He's gonna, like, get a cane and start limping everywhere with the shirt saying, I survived lettuce. After I started chewing it for a while and swallowed it, I realized, you know, it wasn't the end of the world. The sky didn't fall. So what did you just learn? That I can do this? Yeah. No way, Vincent. You learned that you can eat lettuce? Oh my goodness. This is a lesson most people learn by the time they're eight years old, but I'm proud of you nonetheless. You can go home and tell your little kid that your dad's gonna eat healthy now, little Jimbo. JJ has Victor try a bite of each of the new burgers. Chicken. Well, that just didn't taste right. Veggie and spinach. Until he finds one that he can stomach. Turkey. It's not bad. So you could do that one? It's got a lot of flavor in it. Or, you know, you could just eat turkey. Why are they trying to make him eat a spinach burger? That's disgusting regardless of if you like food. Yes, Vincent, we made you this kale burger. It's made with the most organic kale that we could find. I'm not Vincent, and I want to throw that thing away. There's no way you could get me to eat a kale burger. You know, I was just, I'm not used to all of that. This week... This is gonna be your dinner each night. Now see, I'm playing ball with you because I'm giving you burgers. Right. But it's gonna be a healthier choice burger. Right. How dramatic they're trying to make this is killing me. Now, Vincent, are you gonna be able to eat a turkey burger this week? I know, I know we're asking you to do a lot, Vincent. But please, th th think of the children, Vincent. Please eat this turkey burger. Or, or, or the Russians will blow up the world. It's really not that deep, Vincent. Just eat the dang turkey burger, okay? Do it for, like, I don't know, whatever reason you need to do. They're acting like they're actually asking him to go invade Soviet Russia as a spy. Just eat a burger. By the third day, Victor is struggling with his healthy burger options. The menu that Gigi wrote up started to remind me of burgers too much. I wanted a real burger. You know, I felt myself going through withdrawals, but... Withdrawals? You were having withdrawals? What? Dude, cheeseburgers are not black tar heroin. What do you mean? I couldn't make it three days before I started having withdrawals. Like, he's sitting in his office shaking because he hasn't had a cheeseburger in three days? I don't know what's up with this. I don't know what's going on. But if you're having withdrawals after not eating a cheeseburger for three days, dude, you really need to get your life back in check. That's good. All right. <laughs> Success. Victor has made those first steps, which are always the hardest. He is now going to have the self-confidence that he needs to continue to make progress and change. You ever think you were gonna be here? Nah. Did you ever think you were gonna be here? What, what do you mean? You guys are acting like he just found the cure for cancer. Did you ever think you were gonna have this much success, Vincent? No, you know, when uh, I was a young boy, I thought I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to go to the stars, see space, go to the moon, and you know, I, I thought that I had failed on my dreams, but no, instead I've done something better than go to the moon, guys. I've done something better than being an astronaut. I've not eaten cheeseburgers for an entire week, guys. I know what you're thinking, it's crazy. It's crazy to not eat cheeseburgers for a week, but trust me, trust me when I tell you, you can do it too. Never give up on your dreams, kids. If you feel like that you 
have to eat cheeseburgers every day. You can give it up for a week. You can try a fish at a family barbecue. I know it sounds crazy, but I know you can do it. Why are they hyping this man up so much? He'll now have the confidence going forward to keep up? Yeah, just uh, don't eat a cheeseburger, bro. I really don't think it's rocket science. They're acting like they just taught this man, you know, like how to run a multi-billion dollar company. Hyping him up so hard to just not have diabetes. Like, come on. I didn't realize that a burger addiction would get this much attention. You know, uh, my, my strange addiction, if you're watching this, I actually play Crunker in my sleep. If you want to give me a whole episode where I pretend that, you know, not playing Crunker for a week is as hard as giving up my dreams of being an astronaut, I'll, I'll do it. I promise. On that note, though, guys, you guys should press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the video. And uh, go ahead and comment what you're addicted to, okay? Is it cheeseburgers? Is it not? I put another My Strange Addiction video I made a little bit ago at the top of the description. So if you're new or you just haven't seen that, feel free to click on that and watch it. But on that note, I'm gonna go order 900 cheeseburgers from McDonald's and act surprised when I get diabetes. Don't get anyone pregnant, and if you do make sure they're hot, I'm out. Peace.